how to make sheets. So in order to make sheets, first you need to learn to work with crop view. So if you turn it off, you can't see the crop view. If you turn it back on, you can see it. You can minimize your crop view or reduce it to just what you like to see. So I like to see just the floor plan. And you can change the scale to whatever you want, quarter, one eighth, and so on. So here it doesn't make sense, but as soon as you grade sheets, it makes sense. So when I say quarter, it's going to appear on my sheets as quarter. Now I'm going to go to view and I'm going to create a sheet right over here. I'm going to click here. Whatever size you want, you need to load. So you go here to an imperial uh, library, you go to titles, title block, and you open up the sheet you want. I just want to get eight and a half by 11, click on it, say okay. And you say okay, it comes like this. So then you take the level that you want, you drag it and you plug it over here. When you bring it over here, scroll back a little bit, and first I'm gonna land it right out here, all right? Now, you see this, it comes with that, and that is uh, essentially, that is essentially the frame that you want to have. And you can change that scale to whatever you like, and it would be ideal sometimes to draw that scale over here. Right now, I want to separate that scale. Then I want to drag my drawing so that it comes right over here. You have to play with it so it gets placed exactly where you want it. You can zoom back and forth, press and move it. Essentially, you're dragging it, all right? You see how that crop view is over there? When you click on the plus sheet, it shows the sheet that you have created, and when you click on it, it shows the floor plan. I can go to it this way or that way, Turn off that frame so I can pick it and turn it off. And then I can also come back here and turn off that layer, hide category. But it's best if I do it through here that I do get to it. So I go here in that layer, I hide category, and it looks like this. So I go back to my sheet. My sheet looks perfect. It has everything I want. I can zoom forward and start putting the uh, floor plan. And as soon as I put that, that'll show up on my sheets and then put the title and all of that. And I'm going to come back here. Now you can see as soon as I put the floor plan, that actually showed up over here. I can also come back and change that if I want to. So that says section A1, A102. I can change that. A1 of 1. And immediately you see the numbers showing up over here. So now I've done my sheet. My sheet looks like this. It has my floor plan properly on it. I can print it. So I go to print. And right now I'm going to do a PDF. Now you see the sheets over here, so I, if I click Selected Sheets, it will allow me to select it. This is the one I would like to see. Here we go. And I say OK. And it says, do you have the same this? Yes. Do you want to save these settings? And Yes, I do. And I can also call it Set 1. Right now, I'm fine with it. Now what I like to do is go to Setup, make sure that is um, not landscape portrait because that's the way it looked like. So I'm going to say OK. And now I'm ready to print. And I say OK. And I say yes. And then it says do certain layers are turned off. Do you want it off? And I say yes, I want to keep it. So I click on it. And then it gives me the name. So I like that sheet one of that. I'm going to put hunting shelter. Sheet 1 is fine, and I'm going to save it into my cat layer, cat layer, and I can just sort of do it, so we're good. So it'll save it for me, and um, 
So the sheet will look like this. So I can actually look at it and see if I'm happy. Make sure, by the way, your line hierarchy is turned on so that you can actually see the line hierarchy. So if I looked very close, you can see the beautiful line hierarchy over here. So then you're ready to print. It's done. I'm good to go. It can finish printing. I'm very happy with it. It's done.